We talked today about batteries, just gave an overview on what amp hours are, watt hours are, how to look at that and determine what size uh, a battery bank you would need for any type of off-grid use. Also, we talked about some social issues regarding the new clean lithium batteries. When you look them up, the majority of the websites that you look at are going to say how great they are and how this is the best thing since sliced bread. I understand they do have drawbacks and trying to find the balance of what we need. I'll say need like this and you know what we're using just to be conscious of those things, to be able to speak about them intelligently, just to make sure everyone else is also um, observant of those things as well. A lot of the bigger organizations are not uh, being held accountable because you have two folds. One, you have people who don't care and you have other people who don't know enough to care. So I think if individuals know and see what's going on, and if you just do a, a very little bit of scratching, just Google it and it pops up. It's not being hidden. It's not very deep into anything. You don't have to do like a multi-level click. It'll come right up and you'll see like the atrocities that are happening to get people on um, lithium to, to, to have those inside of vehicles. Yeah. So I think we would be beside ourselves if we said community and not include the fact that globally we are a community. This planet is a shared resource that everyone is sharing. Water is a very depleting resource, non-renewable. Uh, a lot of people think water is renewable, but water is not renewable whatsoever. After you toxify water to extract minerals, you can't purify that water anymore. That water is lost. We also went over battery usage and maintenance. And we'll leave you with a takeaway question too. And that is, we want you guys to think about what is your community's minimum and maximum battery capacity requirement. So start to think about who's in your community and what energy needs they actually need and how what we learned about today can be help you think about and understand the wattage types of components needed. Appreciate all of you coming out.